All right, guys, more beard mail. Yep, another unboxing. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Brian Haywood here, back with my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we discuss tips and tricks for your beards. We do some product reviews and unboxings. Uh, we also uh, do a beard advice series where you guys can send in some pictures and a little information to the email address below. I take a look at it for a few weeks and then you get featured in your own beard advice series video. We're having a great time with that, so check that out if you haven't. And today we've got beard mail from... It took me a second to figure out where it was from. It was HTBC out of Lubbock, Texas, and I had to wrap my brain for a minute before I figured it out. It was it's the Horn Toad Beard Company today. And uh, uh, sent some sent them some uh, messages. Well, we had a little correspondence a, a few weeks ago. Um, I said they were going to send me out some products, uh, and then I kind of forgot about it for a while, and then they just showed up at my door. I didn't get any kind of tracking information or any of that kind of stuff. So. Uh, this is going to be a true unboxing because I did not order any of this. I did not pick out any scents. They just sent me out a few products to try. Uh, I feel three products. So um, you would think it might be an oil, a balm, and a um, wash or a coat wash kind of thing. This feels like a bigger bottle. But that's kind of like me before Christmas, you know, checking out your presents and shaking them and listening to them and all that kind of stuff. Taking a little peek. So let's get into this. So I see Tea Tree Mint Beard Wash. Okay, and I uh, reached out to Horn Toad Company because I've seen them, um, I've seen a couple reviews, but it's been several months and I hadn't seen anything new as far as people reviewing their products. Uh, but I saw that they were still active and still posting things on Instagram. Uh, so I wanted to make sure to uh, to try to highlight the company and see what they had. Because if I remember right, they had a nice list of scents, uh, stuff that kind of sound like it would be up my alley. So I wanted to check that out. I love tea tree with the wash. I love tea tree and peppermint kind of stuff for uh, beard butter and stuff for nighttime routines for sure. Uh, so this one, it's got the nice labels on it. It's waterproof labels. Uh, and this one is a four ounce beard wash, handmade in Lubbock, Texas. Okay. I won't go through all of those uh, ingredients on the wash. A lot of times you've got some things that are hard to pronounce sometimes. Uh, so then we've got, oh, that's nice the way they've sealed that up. They've kind of made the, the hanging hooks and stuff. So I don't know if they retail these in some other stores or what, but this is a beard oil. And let's see if I can open it or not. Yeah, I got my knife, I don't have my scissors. So we'll just cut into this. It's in a little Ziploc kind of receivable a uh, little bag, which is good. Nothing's gonna leak out uh, all over the place. And this is a beard oil, teak wood and tobacco. That's one of them that sounded like it should be right up my alley. So interested in that one. Contains tree nut oils, uh, Lubbock, Texas signature series. It's got the Horn Toad Beard Company stuff. It doesn't have the ingredients listed here. So I'll either post them on the screen here or I'll talk about them in my follow-up. Um, but I, you, nine times out of 10 on these smaller uh, beard product companies specifically, all the ingredients are gonna be good and it's not gonna be anything to worry about to hurt your beard. So I'm not usually too fanatical about that. If I know I'm buying from a, a little small uh, beard company, they're gonna be good natural ingredients. Oh man. That smells pretty rich. Uh, relatively clear oil, just a little bit off uh, there with the, uh, not ex completely clear, a little yellowish. Okay, it seems to be on the thinner side, thin to medium side, so maybe right there in the middle. Um, and that is a rich scent. I get a little tobacco, and then I guess the teak wood maybe is making it smell very kind of uh, elegant and more like a cologne-ish kind of scent. Yeah, so that's more a cologne scent. But it doesn't, the tobacco doesn't have the bite to it. It's still kind of a nice, warm, rich uh, tobacco. And then the teak wood uh, is making it smell nice and sophisticated and a little bit more, a um, little bit more manly and towards kind of the cologne side of that. So that's interesting. It'll be interesting to check that one out. I don't normally gravitate towards cologne scents, uh, but in this case, 
that one smells good. All right, so let's see. I think there's one more thing. There's a bomb. By the way, I did see that they are in. Re they're doing some R and D research and development for uh, some beard butter. So I don't know if that's coming soon or they're playing around with it. Uh, maybe they'll wait till cooler weather. I have a I have a feeling some of these beard companies are going to just forget about the aggravation of the beard butter for a while and only ship like uh, October through April, those six months out of the year. But we'll see how that goes. Um, so it's the matching balm. Yep. So matching uh, beard balm for it. And, uh, that looks like a two ounce, uh, tin, nice black lid, uh, lid to that nice presentation guys. So the, the labels are nice and waterproof. Um, they look good. All right. So a nice presentation there and this, I don't hear it shaking. So let's see how much it is pretty firm though. Smells about the same. It's not quite as strong on the um, on the teak wood, but the, maybe I get a little more of the tobacco. It's just it's kind of like the with the oil, what's radiating from the oil is kind of the teak wood cologne stuff. And here here it's not radiating, so I can kind of it smells a little flatter. So I'm smelling more of the uh, tobacco on that. And let's see how it comes out. Uh, it's coming out fairly easily, so. That's going to be a little bit on the lighter side, lighter to medium. You know, emulsify is great, and that's going to be right in the middle. So if you're one of those that you don't like the really firm bombs, um, then this might be for you. It's, it's going to give you some hold, I can tell you that. Uh, so it's right in the middle. So if you like the ones that gives you some hold, but not the super strong, uh, that's going to uh, work for you. And I think I'm going to like this scent. So uh, thank you very much for uh, to Horn Toad Beer Company for sending me out these three products. I'll be trying them out over the next few weeks. Uh, it takes me a while to kind of try out washes because you want to try it more than once. And I usually only wash my beard once or twice a week. So it takes a little while on that one. But let me smell that. Yeah, that smells nice. And let's see. It looks like it's going to be on the thinner side. Most of the beard washes from these small companies are on the, the thinner side these days. You put, it feels like it's getting away from you. And then you just do this and all of a sudden your beard just suds up really well. So uh, that looks like that might happen with this one too. But anyway, we'll be checking that over the next few weeks. So be, check, be looking for the follow-up video. And thank you so much to Horn Toad Beard Company. And thank you so much for you, my viewers. And we'll see you next time.